This video was made by young people between the ages of 16 and 25 as part of the Reach Out Producers program. I definitely think media, magazines, newspapers, TV movies, they all add to the way that I feel personally. The media is like a, is a transmission medium or whatever, I'm just taking it. How many, like, Regular looking folks are kind of hooking up or being like finding love or valued by somebody. The the ugly nerdy girl always is, you know, she's reasonably pretty. It never occurred to me that I might have internalized a lot of like I don't know, the culture's weird messaging about Asian bodies and they're not very visible on telly. I saw like a white dude who was my height, and I was so excited to see a white dude who was my height. I don't come by me on the screen very often. It's so normalizing and validating, and it's like, right, I do have a place I fit into this culture. Everybody's going bald turkey. I mean, that's that's the media. I have friends who have had nose jobs from school. Some of them are gonna get Botox soon, and that, wait, I'm only 30. It's like, this is crazy. Where are they getting these ideas from? We're always told to become better versions of ourselves kind of thing, like physically, or how you can improve this or get better or whatever. Celebrity diets, like that's the stupidest thing now, and I know it is, but like I think when I was younger that was such a thing. White, tall, thin, buff? White, thin people. Yeah, very thin. Tall and skinny, but not too much of either of those things. One thing which I think is really good at the moment is booty, and more voluptuous women that they're liking this more, I'm all for that. Male models are seen as an okay thing. Um, no one comments on if they're too thin, if they're if they're too muscular, like, you know, because if you're too muscular, like, especially bodybuilders and stuff like that, they, you don't get that way naturally, or you don't lead a normal lifestyle to reach that kind of physique. Things that, are, that go wrong on a daily basis don't fit that idea that everyone looks perfect in every situation. When you're young and you have a world that's your house and your family, the other world that you have is the television screen. So your idea of what reality should be is this closed space where you have criticism and then this outer space where you have these unachievable kind of, they're not even fairy tales because they're monsters, they're like nightmares, where you're supposed to in some ways be like that. It's like, of course you're gonna you know, feel fucked up. Don't compare yourself to other people. I think that's a massive one and um, everyone's different. Everyone's different and, and beauty is seen differently by different people. It's not necessarily a physical attribute. Um, beauty is within as well. Surround yourself with people that um, make you feel better about it. They will not focus on that and look at the other aspects of you that are more beautiful and um, yeah, more interesting. You're, you're probably goddamn beautiful and you just don't realise it because if there is one thing about a universal beauty, it's that it's all our supposed imperfections that make us so complex and interesting and that is what is beauty. Some of the most interesting people in the world aren't conventionally beautiful. So don't worry about what people think. Yeah, don't worry. ReachOut.com provides practical tools and support to help you get through everything, from everyday issues to tough times. Check it out for more info on mental health, peer support forums, and even apps to help you deal with stress and anxiety.